Take a good look at the campus behind me. The trees you see with the orange ribbons are going to be cut down over this spring break, April 2013. These are ornamental liquid amber trees. According to botany research, they are known to live up to 400 years, even though Yuba College's letter from the trees suggests they have reached the end of their lives after only 40 years. So why then are they going to be cut down? Yuba College lists a few reasons that might make it essential to cut their lives short. The first reason, these. The spiky burr balls that contain the liquid amber seeds. They drop all over the ground and maintenance has to clean them up. Of course, they have been cleaning up after them for decades, so that alone may not be enough reason to cut the trees down. But the burrs cause another problem. They are round, so they tend to roll easily underfoot, causing a falling hazard. In fact, some people on this campus have already fallen because of them. The next problem is a little more difficult to manage, but solvable nonetheless. The roots of these great giants are lifting up the sidewalks of campus, cracking them, and creating another form of falling hazard. In order to maintain the sidewalks, they must either be ground back down to level surfaces, or the concrete must be re-poured from scratch. The solutions to this problem may be pricey, but not necessarily such a financial burden that the college couldn't find some funding. The final reason that Yuba College provides for removing the trees has to do with the utility tunnels running under the campus, the entrance through those doors. The roots of the trees, in search of water and purchase, are cracking the tunnel walls, causing groundwater to leak in. Because electrical lines run through the tunnels, this could be extremely dangerous for campus staff working in there. It seems the only thing to be done is to get rid of the problem and cut down the trees. Or is it? Is it possible that the trees could be moved? Is it possible repairs could be maintained? Either way, it doesn't matter. Even if there was a solution, the trees will be gone by the time we return from spring break, and new trees will be planted to take their place.